Good to see you guys again. Uh, I was actually sick, my whole house was sick, so that's why I was gone. I know the internet was clamoring. Where was Chris? Where's the Corey content? Where is the Corey content? It's in the next video after this one, probably. Yeah, so what are we watching today? We're watching Invasion USA with another 80s icon, Chuck Kick Norris. It's technically a holiday movie. For Christmas, uh, Chuck Norris is gonna beat a bunch of people up. Because America loves nothing more than ultraviolence. I'm here for the stash and the guns. Mary, whatever. Mary, okay. Boat. <laughs> I was like checking the audio. <laughs> Boat. Okay, so these are people that are going through hell. So how does Chuck Norris beat them up is what I need to know. Well, we're definitely headed that way. Hopefully he drops in from a helicopter. Or, start <laughs> or, or he parachutes in like Corey Feldman from the <laughs> Meatballs movie. <laughs> It was standby flights are a bitch. <laughs> the main thing I'm getting from this, that guy's really acting hard. <laughs> I know. He really wants to be in frame. This screams Merry Christmas to me. I don't know about you guys. I feel like I could do that job really well. <laughs> that guy laying there with his belly exposed. <laughs> that guy with his shirt off. Yeah. Hi. Are we gonna stare at each other or are we gonna do this? What is this, Star Trek One, Where everyone just looks and that's the whole movie? Mm -hmm. Delete them. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, definitely a fake. This is not reality. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they would have sank that boat. Oh. <gasps> I trust him. Oh. To the face. You need to be on their boat. <laughs> How did we call this? Really? You think like they're really from Cuba yeah. or somewhere and yeah. they're just taking them out. Yeah. In a fake Coast Guard boat. Well, they're holding on to that. What is that? A violin? Right. String the whole time? That doesn't mean good. Is that where the drugs are? Yeah. I think I wrote this movie. I think you did write I this did. movie. We've done that a couple times. Yeah. Well, it was the you know early 80s. I was uh, barely a couple years old. I needed the money. And Chuck <laughs> he, Norris approached me. You're that dead kid. <laughs> <laughs> in the movie, you're like, oh, I remember that. I co-wrote and then starred in that part. Yeah, that was my favorite part. Look at him. He's like a some, he's some kind of Joe. Oh, my God. He is so he's tough looking. Canadian tuxedo with denim on bottom and denim on top and a mullet and it's blonde. And the hair is flowing. Look at that arm hair. See, when my arm hair, I'm ashamed <laughs> of him. He's like, put it in the shot. <laughs> you know, the thing about Chuck Norris is that he actually is a karate champion. Right. Right. No, he's, yeah. he's not like, uh, what's the other guy that we did? Uh, uh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, right. Screenplay. Screenplay by Chuck Norris. He's writing okay. screenplays. This will be great. Oh yeah, this is 80s, man. Look at all these stashes. Look at that hair. Look at that belt. Corey Feldman would be so jealous. <laughs> with all them zippers. I think he bought that off the prop guy afterwards. <laughs> Didn't you bastards ever hear about the First Amendment? <laughs> so funny, Chuck Norris is writing about like amendment laws for right. speech and everything. He's, he's a he's gator wrestler. He's going for gators. Of course he is right now. He's really touching that thing. You know, a lot of these movies, though, they either, they either corked their teeth or they um, they removed them. Right. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You know that gator's dead, right? Next time, I'm doing the rope, okay? Yeah. Man, you know what's crazy is like that lady right there, like years later, she's had her kids and she's like, that's me! <laughs> I was in this movie! I'm a drug prostitute. <laughs> it's a lot of phones. Who, who is he, Neil Breen? What? Tell me you do cocaine without <laughs> saying you do cocaine. It's all here. Labrador. Vitamin powder. Vitamin powder. Brought to you by Corey Feldman. Did he kill those guys? Oh, oh my. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So, that's a bad guy. That is how you be a bad guy in movies. This, and he stares at her. This is awesome. He stares at his work. God. Shut up, you dick. And then threw her through the window. No hesitation. So it wasn't about the cocaine. No, it was just about killing him. Yeah, it, the guns. He wanted the guns. That was an awesome scene, by the way. Can I, can I just say, like, for a bad guy moment? That's Holy. how you be a bad guy. Like, we don't even know, like, why the cocaine was poisoned or why the guns were even shown or anything, but we know that that guy is awesome. And he means he'll shoot you in the dick. <laughs> I've heard that story before. Okay, so now they need his help. Regular agents. 
Right. Well, this one is special. Do you know how to fix poison cocaine? We, believe <laughs> we have a lot of it, and we can't use any of it. Chuck, how do you feel about the possibility of getting shot in the dick? You should let me kill him when I had the chance. Look at how this shot it's is beautiful. lit. It's, it's beautiful. It's pretty good. Moonlight indoors. He's, He's just taking out everyone. That's great. I like him so far. He's really building up his character. As a where, bad guy? Like, yeah. Like, you need Chuck Norris to get rid of this they, guy. That's who great. Else, who else can get him? Look how close he is. Right. Like, he's looking at the guy. <laughs> this is called a law, a light anti-tank weapon. Ah. The, these are a big deal. Hey, hey, man, I play Call of Duty. This will blow up the whole front of the house. <laughs> and shatter toward him, I'm assuming. Oh, yes. Oh! Uh-oh. Not this time, Rasta. He's Chuck gonna me. kill you anyway. Just shoot it. Chuck me. Chuck me. Who oh, is Chuck no. <laughs> no way. It's time to die. Wow. It's time to die. Oh, this is when he could have stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was a dream. Just a dream. So afraid of me, right? He's like dreaming about getting his ass kicked by me, right? And then I kick him in the face. Well, you know, okay, of course we need him doing other manly stuff. Yeah, this is the smallest chainsaw you can buy. <laughs> Why are we focusing on well, that? He has an armadillo. So he lives out on the bayou, like right. alone. He loves, he loves that armadillo. Everglades. Everglades. You're gonna shoot him with the. He had a gun that quick? <laughs> he, out of nowhere, literally knew. two or three seconds out of someone yelling from a football field away, he dives out of his house. Oh. Chuck's gonna give it to you. This was the original John Wick, like they got his uh, <laughs> armadillo. Or... No, we don't need to check for bodies. We got him. Bye. They literally left without even. Here, getting... let me bring you in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably safer in this thing that's definitely about to fall down. There's a filthy mattress I can throw you on. <laughs> Too. Became part of the, the trash. He, just... <laughs> Another... he buried him in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for that old Loki. <laughs> Where's my armadillo? Oh, to, to burn, burn it, it the rest of the way. Okay. Was he dead? Of it? Okay, just making sure. Just yeah. saying. Yeah, you would want to like do the little mirror with the breath thing. <sighs> How does Chuck Norris look so tough, that goofy, on that thing? He's driving it really well. He's amazing. Can you imagine that? Like he's, he wrote that. He's like, I'm gonna drive this <laughs> on this airboat. <laughs> this is what I think a lot of people in the U.S. wanted Jesus to be like, or look, like to look like. It's Republican a, Jesus. It's Republican Jesus. Just make out like nothing's going on. Oh, dude, you almost shot your hand, bro. What is that on him? On the gun, a scope? Yeah, it's a scope on a... Phyllis Diller? This was the other thing. Oh, like... this is the invasion part of the Oh my God, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Remember the name of the movie? I did not. <laughs> Brought to you by Pepsi. They loved being in this. They just blew up my house. Time to get a hamburger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I burned my friend's corpse, by the way. Like, yeah. how, how was your day? It was fine. Onion rings? <laughs> I'll take the assignment. But remember, I work alone. I know you understand. Yeah, I know you work alone. Your best friend died. Uh, you burn everyone around you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's Christmas, right? <laughs> That's why we're watching this, because it's a Christmas movie. I totally forgot. Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. You know, so Mary whatever. Like Die Hard or Batman 2. That was, yeah, during Christmas. Oh, he's definitely going to kill all those people. He's going to find a way to throw her through a window. <laughs> Pontiac Sunbird. What time is it? You guys are... Toyota to yourself. I almost thought that was two boys, and I was like, wow, what a progressive movie. <laughs> no way. It's only progressive because she has short hair. See what I mean? Like they, they just make such a big deal of, oh, they're invading the US. They're gonna blow up your house with your kids in it. Jeez. That is an awesome shot. This is expensive. That first shot was awesome. Anything else? Oh yeah, minorities. Whoever's doing the action sequences and stuff is doing a great job. 
Yeah, this is great. If you're going to do this type of movie, do it like this, where your, your budget's huge, your bad guy is a bad, bad man. She survived? Oh, minorities, I think they're gonna all survive. I think everyone's gonna be okay. If the <laughs> white people just got blown up, uh, us minorities are getting nuked. That's like, what are those apples? Cuban food or Puerto Rican, like they eat fried bananas or whatever. No. Bueno <laughs> noches, <laughs> ladies. Hola. My friend here thinks you're a fat. Tell you, man. Yeah, we're all gonna die. How about if you guys give us a break for once? They went light on these guys compared to the white people. I know, right? White women live. <laughs> is this the effects of the cocaine or the invasion? Or is, is this what they're invading? <laughs> I think that's just Florida. <laughs> just in, This is what they're invading. So right. That's how bad it must be where you're coming from to think that this is what you want. Oh, rebel flag. Good news. Just good news for... I would feel welcome. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I didn't want to say it, but good for you, Chuck. I haven't really watched a lot of Chuck Norris movies seriously. Uh, not a bad actor. Yeah. Although I haven't seen a lot of fighting yet. So every incident like this breeds 10 more exactly like it. We don't even have the resources to deal with half of them. You got all that reporter? <laughs> we're inept and we're horrible and everything's, everything's terrible. And they're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be nice if we actually got that kind of speak nowadays. Wow, I'm siding with Chuck Norris's uh, screenwriting. I know. Who knew you were a... It's the beard, I can feel it. <laughs> I don't care if you can wear that out in public, don't. So he's hiding from Chuck in here? I think he's looking for a cheap prostitute. Oh! Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Rostov? I don't know, man. Nobody knows how to find him. Let me tell you what the hell is going on. If you come back in here, I'm gonna hit you with so many rights, you're gonna beg for a left. <laughs> you're beginning to irritate me. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yes, look. Watch out, bitch! <laughs> if you live through this, tell Rostov it's time to die. Oh, yeah, how's he gonna take the knife out? Oh, good question. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did he really do? He didn't do anything to help. He was washing his car. Nope. It's a bomb. Setting the violence level so high in the beginning, now the tension level in my mind is like, are they gonna blow this whole mall up? Right, no, exactly. So. I feel like he's gonna pull out a knife bazooka and just... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna blow up the diamonds. Oh. Hey, mister. Gee golly. So if someone was running away from you with that kind of package thing and all that, would you be chasing them as hard as you could with it? Nope, I'd drop it instantly. I'd say something is very, 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 very wrong. What's the look they're going for <laughs> with the concrete construction worker gloves? Oh. oh my god! They've invaded bad fashion too. <laughs> Chuck, shoot him in the dick! What? Oh yeah. Good for you! The Blues Brothers invented this, but he is perfecting it. Whoa, that was a cool shot. That was a good angle. Right. That was a good angle. This is not bad. Right. Oh, my oh. God. You're going to yell at them? Yeah, that's what happens. Damn it, cowboy. Oh, jeez. Oh, a lot of a... Uh... That stunt woman's really earning her money. Yep. Yeah, right? It's like a hero car situation. Oh! Real crashes. Oh, oh my god! 
Ford versus Nissan. Uh oh. Wouldn't you just? I'm sorry. As the bad guy, I would just kind of <laughs> smash her into the. Right. I know. Drive faster, Chuck. <laughs> hey, if she lives, she lives. When you move the transmission, that makes the car go slower. Oh, right. It doesn't boost you. No. There's no boost that goes <laughs> this direction. A lot of grenades. You <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mary whatever. So far, I mean it's a solid movie. I'm not even seeing really any any like old school super racist stuff. I mean there it's is not, subjective. Yeah, it's not super overtly racist. Um I was expecting more Christmas actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have got Christmas hats. Oh. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a shit. Do <laughs> you have any ID? Yeah. We know what's coming. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna tell him what everyone wants to know. Our Father, who art in heaven, how I thought this was gonna be one of our stinker movies and it doesn't seem to be. Well, maybe it won't perform well, but uh... Well, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Come on, guys. She cannot be happy with that hair on that left side. Perfectly normal, looks good. You guys are standing way too close. Look, I don't care about you as bad guys, but just logistically, it's like, wow, that's really technical. What did he do? What, how did he do that? He oh. already got it? He teleported, got it. Didn't work, huh? You're gonna blow them up right there? Yeah! <laughs> Get him, Chuck. The guy was unfurling the thing. Mm -hmm. In the time he was doing that, Chuck Norris went right in front of them, yeah. grabbed it, uh -huh. plus the line that he was holding, uh -huh. ran across the street, yes. found a way into the building, up to the top, yeah. above them, uh -huh. and had time to stroll up to them, yes. and then throw it down and then detonate it. Using karate. He's not a regular guy, he's a karate master. Wow. That's how he did it. The Floridians are mad that there's no meat. The guy's like, we have tons of vegetables. And they're like, fuck you. <laughs> Man, when this was the only problem, right? This is pretty good life. Yep. Okay. It's the fake army. Here comes Chuck. How does he know? That truck is still drivable. He just knows. By the way, to everyone around you, Chuck, you're gunning down American <laughs> troops. Like, you really don't need that scope. Oh, that's the same Mustang that they used in the other scene. Huh. They're just reusing the cars that they crashed. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Whoa! I've never seen that before. And then pulled the gun and fired it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting low on villains. He's, it's a beret now, so you know. Yeah. Oh. Now the Mexicans can play here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm Hispanic. I'm leaving that in. It's a joke. It's a commentary joke about feeling marginalized in cinema. <laughs> this is what you're paying for. <laughs> it, none of this comes off as super duper fake. Like his acting and performance doesn't. It's not overreaching. Uh, yeah. It fits for him. I think. With a, just a, a couple of different movies, maybe breaking a little bigger than they did, it could have been Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Norris, no problem. No, no problem at all. Chuck arrested. I don't think he's changed clothes at all during this film. Uh, see the injustice that uh, the invasion has caused is that he's a, you know, he's a good guy. He's a patriot, but he's being punished. Yeah, and they even said that. Chuck Norris took out 10% of the terrorists. <laughs> and they're still gonna arrest him. That's a huge chunk. 
Maybe I should ask you. Yeah. See you around. He is so calm for being arrested by the U.S. government and army. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to the media? Yeah. Look at these guns. Nico was easy. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting to the real invasion stuff. Oh! I've never seen anything like that. Good in my shot. Life. Good shot. That's the most amazing explosion shot I've ever seen in my life. Jeez, they really okay. Yeah. You know, you, you you think one way about an actor, about a time period, about movies. Uh, just seeing the details, is they, they, there were people really putting in effort and talented people executing really cool stuff in this. For sure. They got armored cars. Oh. <laughs> is everyone shooting out of it? All right. Real deal dangerous. Just stuff. landing a helicopter is actual danger. Yeah. Especially one that looks like it's from 15, 20 years ago. Okay, so they are invading. Right. Somewhere. And shooting Ooh. at someone. I just don't know what. You guys rented tanks for a <laughs> Chuck Norris movie? <laughs> That's great. This is awesome. How did you know what building How did you get out of jail? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Commentary, the justice system has failed. I don't think you're leaving. Not a chance. That looked real. That looked great. No blinking. <laughs> he hasn't blunk once. Zero blunk. No, I think- Yeah, it's confusing because the <laughs> bad guys have shown up in military garb. Okay, so this is the good guys. What was the plan? Again, well, I mean, it's the end of the film. You don't think too hard about this kind of stuff, but... I shot your computer. Those extra clips. What? <laughs> he just... <laughs> so calm. Smoke. Is that a silencer? Yes. Why do you need that? You don't. The second kick in the movie. Is the other guy, like the main bad guy, like a karate? Ugh. Oh, whoa! You never get tired of that. Have you said? Have you thought once in this movie he needs to throw more kicks? <laughs> no. He's smoking people with dual Uzi things <laughs> to their faces. Whether you like the film, don't like him as an actor, whatever, you can't say that he doesn't have a presence and he's not actually delivering across emotional uh, information just through his face. You also can't say that he's not pulling off two different shades of denim and making it look like a singular <laughs> outfit. You can't say that. You can't say that. You know it's bad when Chuck's backing up. He has bad intentions. <laughs> there was an option to just blow up the walls. There was an option to just shoot through the... Look at those holes! <laughs> Throw the gun down and that kills him. Oh! <laughs> to the chest! To the heart! Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. He got no more weapons. He threw his knife against Chuck Norris. See, Chuck is completely <laughs> nonplussed. He... Ooh! Do the honorable thing. <laughs> oh my God. More kicks. You're doubling. He's been using that. He's oh, that's been true. Teleporting and putting guns to people's heads <laughs> right? instantly. Your own gun to your own head. <laughs> right. Some good holiday cheer. Yeah, it's very Christmassy as well. Guy burning to death right there. Oh, he's already dead. Don't, why would you, like a cat? Like a ninja cat. Oh, I've has got his one own too. More practical, still not practical, but more practical. You gonna turn and fire as fast as you can? It's time. <laughs> he's whispering it to him. Boom. <laughs> Oh my god. That's exact. Look at the foot. There's a foot. There's a foot. It obliterated he, that guy. He finally blunk, and that's the end of the movie. Blunk once. That's how you end the movie. That's how you end the movie. <laughs> that's the end of the film. Wow. You got what you paid the money for. Well, uh, Ch uh, Chuck Norris, Invasion USA. I gotta say thumbs up, or whatever up.
I don't know if we can watch any more Chuck Norris movies because they're too good. That was great. <laughs> it was really good. There wasn't any like super right wingy, not a lot of like uh, politics. It was more kind no, of- No, there was no politics. It was just more about good guys and bad guys. Well, I mean, you know, the only real black presence we had was saxophone playing pimps. And the two kids in the school bus. And the, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there were some horrible racial stereotypes. But the same for the white people. Yeah, the white people didn't make out that well in the movie. No. There's, there was no like, hey, I really wish I was that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gator wrestling who got shot. The armadillo right. uh, was unresolved. But other than that, I, I gotta say, that was a pleasant, fun movie. It wasn't even that dumb. I'd like to think that the armadillo lived. I do too. Yeah, good film.